This is the Zephyr Trax MS3628BTM, and it's big. This is 15 inches of speaker, and when I pulled it out of the box, I thought there was some mistake. It just, there's, there's no weight to it. It's 2.64 pounds, which is about the size of a quart of milk. I mean, this is light. This, and, and listen to this. It's hollow. It's like, where's the circuitry? Where's the battery? Where are the speakers? They're in here. They're, there's some kind of voodoo going on. I'm going to turn the light on so we can see the controls a little easier. Right here, we have a power switch. Not a power button, but a power switch, which you don't often see on Bluetooth speakers, but as long as we're not being waterproof, I like it. Sitting next to that, I am far less enthusiastic about seeing a micro USB port. Sadly, it's not USB-C, but they do include a micro USB cable in case you've already thrown away yours in disgust. Sitting next to that is a USB slot. I currently have that populated by a TF card adapter. Yeah, th there is no TF card slot in here, but I guess I don't care. I've got the adapter, so big deal. These are super hard to read, except for the volume knob, which is predominant and lit. I like that. This is the mode key. It switches between Bluetooth, FM radio, and the USB reader. And next to that, we have, that is the scan button, which you use to look for radio stations. And it also does play pause on the USB. And then we've got track forward and reverse. And this is the LED button. You switch between the three different light modes. Uh, they're all fine. <laughs> <laughs> they look great. This is kind of an anomaly. It's There is a microphone slot in case you would want to try using this for karaoke. However, there is no balance between the microphone and the music. You can control the volume of the music here, but the microphone is just full blast all the time. Let me give you a tour of the speaker hardware. When I first saw these online, I thought that these were horn tweeters. But no, they're just black plastic cones that are molded into the case. What you do get are two 4-inch, 5-watt, not quite full-range speakers. They go from 45 hertz to 18 kilohertz, but they are assisted by a ported enclosure. And actually, that does make quite a bit of difference. Now, I think you'll still want to place this near the wall for the best experience, but it doesn't sound half bad as long as you keep it below half volume or so. It will start to distort the bass above that. Uh, if, you're, if your music isn't bass heavy, you can turn it up louder and it sounds pretty decent. Let me turn the lights back off so we can enjoy this gorgeous RGB display. You know, if the speaker sounds halfway decent, sometimes this makes up for all the deficiencies. And there's a strong case where this is one of those times. What's the target market for this speaker? I'm not going to recommend it for adults or college kids or high school kids or middle school kids, but I think the elementary school crowd is really going to like this. The RGB display is beautiful and the speaker sounds good up to a point. And parents, you don't want to hear their music past that point anyway. So I think this would make a great gift. What's the bottom line with this speaker? It's beautiful. It sounds decent, but it's got a short battery life. For the right crowd, I think it makes a great gift. I'm going to give this a three out of five stars. Thanks for stopping by.